What's up guys, it's Nerp here, and today we're playing Duelist, another game we haven't played in almost a year. Uh, so this is a another uh, TCG, um, similar to Scrolls, but it has a much brighter future than Scrolls. I played it um, last July and August, and since then I have been on hiatus from it, much like Scrolls, except this one, actually, maybe uh, there will be a future to this game. Um, certainly the community now is much bigger than it was when I stopped playing in August or September. Yeah, so like, I'm on rank 26 now. You start at rank 30 every month, and you just rank up to zero. I'm not sure what else. Things may have changed. This might be wrong because uh, just looking at the screens, the game has evolved in the almost year that I have been playing. Uh, yeah, so like in... Last July I got the game, I got to rank zero, so that's very good I guess, 150 ranked wins, got to S rank, I guess that stands for super. Then in August I played much less, in summer even less than that, and then I took all these months off, and now this month, um, luckily for me, I start right when the month starts, just when June is starting, and I'm now 26, I've won like 4 or 5 matches, lost a couple. Very rusty, very rusty. Uh, when I got back, there was this gift box where I got a pack, um, and I actually got a legendary. Uh, I got a Jax, that like archer that spawns with more archers. That's cool. These are my old, outdated decks. Um, all my cards are outdated. There's so many. There's even new like generals. I don't know how this stuff works. For uh, for now, at least for today's video, I'm just gonna play normally. Also, I see there's a spectating menu, much like scrolls. It actually, looks very similar to it. Um, and I think that's very important, so I'm glad they added that. I'm kind of excited for this game. I don't know, maybe I can get back into it. We will see. This is what I was mainly doing on my channel for the, like the month and a half after Scrolls ended and I was still uploading videos. So I was playing all the factions before I stopped playing. Uh, I'm most comfortable with Lionar though, and I'm not really fully adjusted to the game again. So I'll stick with what I'm more comfortable with for now. And we should be finding a game quickly because there are actual players that play this game. I saw the subreddit had uh, like 11,000 subscribers, so that's promising. You hate to stop playing the game. I actually really like this hand. I'm not sure if I want to take anything out. Because I'm going second so I can grab this mana stone and then play 2-2 two, two drops because I'll have 4 mana. And then I hate to sacrifice one of these, they're such a good card. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually hold on to this hand. So, here we go. Lost my train of thought before that, whatever. Also, there's new, like, Bloodborne things, Bloodborne spells. I'm not sure what that means. Um, I think it's these things in the corner, and you can cast them ever so often. I haven't really played with that too much, so I don't know how that works. Okay, let's do this. Uh, do we want to sacrifice anything? Not really. Uh, so we have to do it like this. Hopefully he doesn't blast me. The trivia I remember was had like ranged like and it attacked it, it attacked in a line. Is it just me or did you used to draw two cards every turn? <laughs> I feel like I'm drawing kinda slowly. I don't know if that's just me. So, unlike Scrolls, where I'm a legend, this game I am still, you could call a beginner, so feel free to help me out in the comments. I don't even know how many people are even watching my videos anymore, to be honest. Let's see, Holy Immolation is pretty good. I'm probably going to do that, yeah. Let's see, this is why you don't sacrifice that. And I like the rest of my hand, so I'm just going to do this. So I start by oh it has provoke. I can't I can't get maximum out of my holy immolation, but I'll do it like this. So I'd like it if I could attack first and then use it, but I have to attack the provoke guy and then I'll die. So let's play it. And now I'll attack this. Move. A couple forward, a couple forward, and put some damage on his general. 
And we're set up nicely next turn to play uh, one of our five drops. Oh, we have a double Arclight Regalia. And those stack in a way that uh, the artifact doesn't go away. Then I'll have to, I'll have to do a little five damage to make the artifacts count down. That's a lot of damage on me. Um, oh, I see they nerfed this card. I remember it used to be plus three attack, now it's plus two. I think I was going to need a nerf, because I remember when this used to be like a five attack blast thing when you just got a good combo in the beginning of the game. Um, I guess I want to back off a little bit. I want to keep my double things here. Get rid of the high hand. Uh, let's see. Why don't we... Back off slightly. And play my airdrop provoke Iron Cliff Guardian. I love that guy. And look, we top deck actually the perfect card, Divine Bond. It adds health to the attack. So I'll be able to get the set 13 attack guy. I don't think that's gonna happen though, because he's gonna destroy you right now. I mean, at the very least, I am lowering all his artifacts down, so I'm afraid to attack it with my general right now. Let's get rid of divine thing because I don't have anything there on the board right now. I'm debating just going up to it right now and just hitting it. It would lower its health and stuff. They don't have enough. I don't have a lot of other plays to do. You know, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna start preparing. I'll play one of these. I'm gonna back off slightly. Actually, I'm not gonna back off. I'm just gonna put that in between us. And what can we draw? A high hand. So that can get pretty big. I definitely have to update these decks. So many new cards. Hopefully it won't take too long to get them. Okay, so we can actually deal 8 damage from up front right now. Well, I was actually going to do a little less than 8. Because I have my Arclight Regalia, which decreases damage down to my zone number 2. So I'm going to access because of that guy. But now his attack goes down. I haven't been using this. What is it? So I can just play it any time? Give a minion nearby your general plus 2 attack. I don't know what that does. Okay, so. Uh, oh, I just won the game now. <laughs> I just go like this, six attack, and die. <laughs> I don't know why it took so long to realize that. That was a quick victory. Uh, only took about eight and a half minutes, so. Oh, that's cool. There's a button here. Tip five gold. Sure. I had a good time. That was a that was a fun game. You can have five gold. I guess I'm a little generous. So now it looks like I need two wins to get to rank twenty four. Yeah, this is like a loot crate. I got them. I had two loot crates. One it said for the holidays they gave to everybody, and one from the. I'll play again. And one from like a server maintenance issue that they wanted to reward everybody. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Lionheart today for this video. Uh, I'll practice the other factions soon and try to collect the cards. And maybe I can make a name for myself in Duelist. We'll see. Going second again. I don't need the six drops so soon. And I'll get rid of this right now because. I'm not sure if it's a great early game card. Yeah, I like that more. Two provoke guys. Now I have three provoke guys in my hand. Provoke is the trait that makes uh, it makes the opponent attack you. Attack that unit with provoke. I might get into some Twitch streaming. I don't know. Basically, I hope to uh, at least 
regain some of my uh, some of my following from before. I know it won't be close to what it was in my scrolls heyday. But what are you gonna do? Um, I want to provoke that, so it has to just die. Keep everything else in my hand. I like my hand. And we'll see how this little uh, duelist thing goes in YouTube and stuff. I have to really learn more about the duelist community and how it's going. It looks like Reddit is a cool place for it. So if anybody knows about that stuff, just leave me a comment or send me a message just telling me more. As I try to better myself in this game. Is the face cam blocking anything? I don't think so. Not sure if the face cam is good or not. I decided to give it a give it a shot for the past couple of videos. And I really don't even know how many. I'm actually recording this video before the last video was uploaded, so I have no idea how many how many views uh, these are gonna get. Cause I did have a lot of a decent amount of views per video before I stopped, but now since then I think I kind of there's definitely over a hundred lost subscribers and all that stuff. Okay, kill that. It's almost out of time, and I lose my provoke dude. So what does this do again? Dying wish. At least I have to destroy this twice unless I can get rid of that. Divine Bond's good, but is it good enough? No. I'd rather actually s sacrifice it. Uh, I don't feel like... Wait, it's a 3-2 ghost. Okay, yeah, I'm actually going to do this then. I'm going to just destroy this and the ghost behind it. I am gonna lose my my this dude, but whatever I guess. You know what? Scratch that. I'm gonna deal damage to the banner directly to the general. And I'll just play a couple lions surrounding him. I have to refamiliarize myself with like each faction's um like board clear uh cards and like how to avoid getting like screwed by big plays because I remember Magnar, Magmar was definitely able to do some crazy stuff within like a within like a 4x4 four four. Um, I noticed this card was nerfed now it deals as you do just right in there now Tempest deals two damage to all the minions on the board in general it's not three that's a huge that's a huge nerf Unless this used to cost three, not cost two. Still, I don't like that anymore. You can't clear the board easily. Well, I guess that's a good thing. You can't clear the board as easily. That shouldn't be easy to do. What is the Bloodborne spell for this general? Deal two damage to all enemies in the gen enemy general's column. Oh, okay. I have to be careful about that. Good thing I read that. I guess this is the column and these are rows. So. What do you do to me? Stunned it. Battle logs right here, that's cool. You could easily see what happened. Healing Mystic, okay. Pretty good turn for him. Um, I have... I can play this now, actually. Get minion nearby your zone, plus two attack. Well, that's stunned. There's no, no reason for me to do that now. I could just... I'm gonna get rid of one of these knights. See what I can get. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna... See, I don't even know if this is worth it, but I'm gonna go for it. Tempest. Just so I can... Uh, just so I can clear the board. And have some board presence with this big, big provoked dude. Then I can heal my general a little bit with this Sundrop Elixir. Not sure if before the Sundrop Elixir was able to be used on minions. It says now restore 5 health to a minion or general. I'm pretty sure it used to be only generals. That's a nice little buff to that card. 
Uh, dancing blades. So some damage to that. That, that kind of sucks. Hmm. Did dancing get? Did dancing blades get a get a buff? That maybe used to be a three five, not a four six. Hmm. Well, we're kind of stuck here now, aren't we? Uh. Hopefully, get a big drop. Wow, that saved my ass. <laughs> Um, do we want to retreat? No, let's just go right in the middle of things. And may as well just give this plus two attack, right? So that, I don't know, it deals a little more damage. And I keep blowing down in general. Hope the game volume's not too loud. There we go, that's a nice card. Arclight Regalia, these legendaries, I like them. Just trying to make sure I stay out of the columns, only in the rows. Okay, that deals forward damage to that, and a drop card. Pretty good card. It's almost like a burn in scrolls. Okay, that just deals two damage to my general. I'm gonna use the deal. Okay, so that, that John Gollum of mine did some work. He did five damage to both of those things on the board. Now, what can I get? Hmm. Oh, what do I want here? Do I really want to heal by five or? I guess I gotta keep the regalia, just because it won't draw anything better. Okay, that was actually a very good draw, the Arclight Sense, and I can destroy those without taking any damage on my general. Perfect, so I'm gonna actually move here. Play you. Decrease your health by two. This guy's cool, you can do something with the opening gambit as well as play a 2 4 creature. Put this on here, I can do 4 damage to a general, I can destroy this, and probably better off clearing his board, even though I'll, I'll lose 1 uh, durability on my artifact. Okay. Almost out of cards. He has more cards than me. That was a close game. Seems like uh, seemed like that draw of the giant provoke airdrop golem was a huge swing for me because it looked like he was he was ahead with his four six creature and his general just plowing me down, but I kinda turned it around because he had to spend a lot of damage to destroy that big thing. Hopefully I can continue the pressure. I sometimes forget in this game that you don't draw the, the card at the beginning of the turn, you draw it at the end. So this is what I have to work with next turn. Not a lot. So I'm just going to have to probably put this in the switcheroo. Oh, what is this? What is this? Dark Nemesis. 410. At the start of your turn, deal 4 damage to the enemy general in this minion games. What the hell? That thing is amazing. How do I get rid of that? <laughs> that feels so unfair. Okay. Ugh. Well. Now what? <laughs> I guess I go straight for him. But then I take eight damage from this dude. Whatever. I'm just gonna have to play it up. Uh, play it kind of ballsy. Probably should have put one attack on that. Whoops, messed up there. And I won't bother dealing any damage. That I'm just gonna die. Come on, we did a good draw. Pretty bad, but provoke is decent.
Oh, did he win? Did he just win? No, he doesn't. For a second, I thought that he had six attack, six health. But how this guy? Oh yeah, so he's eight attack now. That's crazy. This guy's so good. He's legendary. Why is he on like a red square? I don't really. Under I don't understand that. Or is that just what all enemy minions are on? I don't remember. Exciting game, this one. I feel like all those games are pretty exciting. They kind of go back and forth a lot more. I think there's more luck involved in Duelist and Scrolls. With your draws and stuff. But the games tend to be more exciting on a game per game basis. Skin attacking it. Okay. Did he have lethal? And I lose basically. Because. Yeah, I just lose. Because next turn he's gonna deal 4 damage to any general. I can't do anything about it. I don't even know what I'm gonna get here. Yeah, I guess I lose. Hmm. Unless I was able to get something to destroy this thing, then I was gonna lose. Too bad. Well, uh, now I get this card. So, I mean, it wouldn't have like it wouldn't have saved me, but it would have held off my death for a little bit. So, win and a loss in my first duelist video in a long time. What do I get? What is this? An emote? An emoji? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of new things in this game that I have to check out and delve into. So that'll be all for today. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed and uh, subscribe for more content. I'll see you next time.